in this video we want to solve this nice olympiad problem in other words we want to find x that satisfies this equation so let's solve it first of all let's rewrite the given equation the given equation is 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x equal to 12 raised to the power x minus 16 raised to the power x inside the square root since we want to find the value of x therefore we would like to get rid of this square root which we can by applying squares on both sides therefore these two guys will cancel each other and on the right hand side we will have 12 raised to the power x minus 16 raised to the power x and let's keep the left hand side as it is so far i'm not simplifying the left hand side yet okay i will do it later okay now on the right hand side we have 12 12 is 3 times 4 and on top of it we have power x and 16 is 4 times 4 and on top of it we have the exponent x fine now we want to further simplify the right hand side but if you remember these properties these properties say this property first so that uh, this property says if you have two numbers a and b and you have some exponent on them then that is just equal to the exponent of first times the exponent of second let's use this property here therefore we will have 3 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power x the three numbers are 3 and the two numbers are 3 and 4 and the exponent is x so that will be equal to the product of the exponents similarly here we will have 4 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power x fine now if you look at here we have 4 raised to the power x common let's pull that out then the left over here is just 3 raised to the power x and the left over here is just 4 raised to the power x and on the left hand side we had 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x whole square now you may think of cancelling uh, this guy 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x but we cannot cancel because we want to find the values of x if you cancel then you may lose some values of x okay therefore we will move everything to one side of the equation since this guy is positive if you move here it will become negative so first let me rewrite the left hand side the left hand side was 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x whole square minus this whole thing minus 4 raised to the power x times 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x equal to 0. Now if you look at here we have this guy common in both of them so let's take this guy common if you take out common then here we have a power 2 so one of them will be left over minus here we have just 4 raised to the power x because we have taken out this guy common equal to 0. Now let's simplify. Let's keep the first term as it is. And if you simplify the second term then we have 3 raised to the power x minus 2 times 4 raised to the power x. Because we have 4 raised to the power x 2 times and the signs are same so in other words we have two times the same guy since the product of these two guys is zero it means that uh, we can set both of them equal to zero to find the values of x this is a product sign between them okay fine let's simplify the first term so we can move this guy to the other side therefore we will have 3 raised to the power x equal to 4 raised to the power x since we want to find the values of x therefore let's divide both sides by x then on the right hand side we have just 1 and on the left hand side we have 3 raised to the power x divided by 4 raised to the power x okay now i want to use this property that says a raised to the power m divided by b raised to the power m if the exponents are same then you can just write uh, this guy as a divided by b raised to the power m 
if the exponents are same then you can just divide and take the whole exponent similarly here since the exponent is same therefore we can write 3 divided by 4 raised to the power x equal to 1 is equal to any number of uh, any number raised to the power 0 so i can write 1 as 3 divided by 4 raised to the power 0 why 3 divided by 4 because we have 3 divided by 4 here now the advantage of writing like this is because you have the same basis so that means x is equal to 0 is a solution from this equation let's solve the second equation the second equation is this one let's move this guy to the other side therefore it will become positive so we will have 3 raised to the power x equal to 2 times 4 raised to the power x we want to find the value of x therefore let's divide by 4x similarly as before then these guys will cancel and on the left hand side i will use this property again and by this property we will have 3 divided by 4 raised to the power x equal to 2 fine and now from here you can apply log uh, base 3 divided by 4 then you will have x is equal to log base 3 divided by 4 of the number 2 so this is another solution of the given equation but let's see if these two solutions uh, satisfy the given equation or not so we want to check we want to verify let me rewrite the given equation 4x is equal to 12x minus 16 raised to the power x and you can see x equal to 0 is the solution because if you plug in x equal to 0 then 3 divided, uh, raised to the power 0 minus 1 raised to the power 0 anything raised to the power 0 is 1 so 1 minus 1 here 1 minus 1 so this is trivially solution so i'm not gonna check this one okay i will only check this second solution which is slightly complicated in order to check this one um, i will divide uh, each term by 4 3 4 raised to the power x because I want to have 3 divided by 4, okay? So let's divide the right hand side as well by 4x. Then these guys will cancel and we will have 3 divided by 4 whole raised to the power x by using the property I mentioned earlier. And now we have a square root of 12x minus 16 raised to the power x. And I can write 4 raised to the power x as 16 raised to the power x inside the square root because the uh, square root of 16 is again just uh, 4. Okay, let's simplify. So now we have square root on each of them. So let's take a square root or uh, whole square root. Then we will have uh, 12x minus 16x divided by 16 raised to the power x. Sorry, raised to the power x. Yeah, not just x. So then we can divide by 16x these two terms, each of these terms by 16x. So 12 raised to the power x divided by 16 raised to the power x minus 16 raised to the power x divided by 16 raised to the power x. So then we will have here 12 divided by uh, 16 is 3 divided by 4 raised to the power x and these two guys will cancel so we will have minus one and the left hand side is three divided by four raised to the power x but what did we want to check we want to check this guy x is log three uh, log base three by four of two so let's plug in this value so we will have three divided by four log base three divided by four of two we want to check if this is equal or not to this guy 3 divided by 4 of log base 3 divided by 4 of 2 minus 1 right but if you look at here the base and the and the, the, the bases are same so we will have 2 on the left hand side and similarly these guys will cancel so you have 2 uh, 2 here and you will have minus one here uh, sorry i missed minus one here so minus one here minus one here minus one here right and we want to see uh, why minus one because we had uh, where is minus one this minus one i had missed this guy so there was a minus one minus one 
okay so now 2 minus 1 is 1 and if you look at here 2 minus 1 is 1 so this satisfies the given equation so it means that the given equation has these two solutions x equal to 0 and this guy 